gentlemen, this is Bill Rosenstrader speaking, Public Relations Director for the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics. We are here in the magnificent $6 million municipal auditorium of Kansas City, Missouri tonight to witness the finals of the 19th annual NAIA National Basketball Championship. The NAIA and the Latha Sports Advisory Council have agreed to host the NAI Men's Division I National Basketball Championship at the Mecca of College Basketball Championships Municipal Auditorium. Long before there was television, national rankings, and coaches' polls, college basketball championships were decided through fierce competition right here on the polished hardwood floors of a new arena in Kansas City, Missouri. Misses, rebound Hunt, Stars lead by only one, 65-64, Hunt with the basketball, he will shoot a three. Municipal Auditorium, a storied venue that would go on to host more national championship games than any other arena in America. But the very first basketball tournament featured schools with names like Central Missouri State and Morningside College, and it all began right here in 1937. The country was still gripped by the Depression when three men came together to determine the fairest way to crown a national champion for smaller schools and universities. And what they created continues on today as the toughest championship basketball challenge in America. 32 teams coming together in one place to play for one full week. Every game a pressure-packed, hard-fought, sudden death event until just one team is left holding the trophy. And 75 years later, it's just as tough, just as grueling, and you can still see it being played from a courtside seat in the Municipal Auditorium. I started uh, attending this tournament during the war. We started going at 1946, and of course there were 32 teams that would come here. I haven't missed a game in 65 years and last year uh, we had the opportunity to come here and throw up the first ball and it was our 2000th game of the NAIA and we've enjoyed all of it and we hope that we can maybe see a, a few more games in the next year or two. The National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics Men's Championship is the longest continuous national collegiate basketball tournament in America. It has been 75 years since Emil Liston, Frank Kramer, and Dr. James Naismith, the same Dr. Naismith who nailed a peach basket to the wall of a gymnasium and invented the sport of basketball, met to find a way to crown a national champion for smaller colleges and universities. Over time, the tournament they founded would feature some of the greatest coaches and players the sport has ever known. But the NAIA tournament had an even more profound impact on American sports and on America. Well, when I found out <clears throat> after the invitation that uh, a black uh, American could not play, I turned it down and uh, they tried to a little pressure on me in some ways to come, but I, I still refused to do it. But the next year, of course, we had everybody back. We had the same team exactly, and uh, we had a better year. We had a fine year, as a matter of fact, and uh, uh, we were invited again. I refused because of the same reasons, and uh, they relented and said that they could, uh, he could come, but he couldn't stay in the hotel with us, and he couldn't have his meals with us. He could, uh, uh, have a, if we'd go to a private room, it would be all right. And, uh, but he couldn't stay in the hotel. And so I refused again. And, uh, but um, the NAACP uh, talked to our president, and our president talked to me, and they thought it would, might be a good thing. It might, in a sense, open the doors a little bit. And um, it was all right with Clarence and his parents. And, uh, so we went. I must say that a few years later, an all-colored team won that in 
AIA tournament. And uh, it's funny, and I, I kept them for a long time, but then I finally threw them away, I thought it was silly. I got some nasty letters blaming me for this all happening by opening the door, but I thought that was a compliment. In 1953, historically black colleges and universities were admitted into NAIA membership and began appearing in the tournament. In 1956, the governor of Louisiana threatened to pull the Louisiana-based McNeese State out of the tournament to protest the integrated format. But the team did play and defeated historically black power Texas Southern to win the championship. And in 1957, Tennessee A&I under coach John McClendon, who had fought hard to break down the color barrier in college sports, became the first historically black school to win a national championship. Tennessee A&I went on to win three consecutive championships and became the first school to three-peat in college basketball history. But even without all of this important history, the NAIA tournament would still be known for providing some of the most thrilling moments ever seen on a basketball court. Tied at 79. He's calling a play from the sideline right now. They've been in this situation before in practice. Here goes Worthy off the dribble. In the way, dealing off Greenaway. They have called the charge on Greenaway. Wave off the basket. But we have overtime. Ten seconds to work with. Here comes Lawrence. Back to Roberson. Got For the three to Silva. Oh! Buried it. Have mercy. We go to overtime number two. That one's waved off. Ball in the hands of Lawrence just as they did last time in the first overtime. Lawrence back out to Luster. Worthy runs it down. Time winding. There goes Worthy. Up on the <laughs> No, he didn't! No, he didn't! They get it into Lawrence. Double clutches from oh Murray. And goes! <laughs> time left for Robert Morris. And we go! Oh. Or how about life's 26-point second-half comeback, including an off-balance guarded three-pointer at the buzzer to win the 1999 national title? It goes! Evans! Have mercy! Can you believe that jump shot? The great coaches who appeared here. John McClendon. Don Meyer. Harry Statham. Dick Bennett, and of course, John Wooden, just to name a few. And such future NBA greats as Dick Barnett, Earl the Pearl Monroe, Travis Grant, Terry Porter, Dennis Rodman, Zelmo Beatty, Willis Reed, Lucius Jackson, and many others who first made their mark at the NAIA Tournament. The NAIA Tournament is collegiate basketball at its purest, with schools from Concordia, California, Robert Morris in Illinois, and Oklahoma Baptist in Oklahoma, to Loyola in Louisiana, from small towns all across America, each vying for and having their moment in the national spotlight. And all they have to do is survive the toughest week in college basketball. And if they do survive, along with the accolades and the memories, they get something else. The Maud Naismith Trophy, personally designed for this tournament by the creator of basketball himself, James Naismith. Another enduring reminder of the 75-year legacy that is the NAIA Tournament. <laughs>